Imagine you're taking your oral exam. You see a picture of a CT scanner with these list of questions, such as what is this? How does it work? What are we measuring? Why is this important to radiotherapy? What are important considerations when scanning a Gamex phantom? What are the rules for change in HU in regard to dose? What detectors are used within a CT unit? And what is the difference between a CT number and a HU number? So first of all, we hopefully can recognize that this is a CT scanner. So how does it work? Different HU values correspond to certain attenuation coefficients. We find this if we smear our projection, which is essentially just a series of transmission measurements back along the path. Doing this repeatedly will show an image and the blurring can be removed via filtered back projection. This filtered back projection leads to a streaking artifact around high Z material, but improves the general quality and allows us to really render a lot of the data sets we're used to looking at in radiation therapy. So what are we measuring? So this is important because there you have to know what you're actually measuring here with CT. So what we're actually measuring are the attenuation coefficients. So now we can use these attenuation coefficients to relate to CT numbers and HU and things of that nature. But what we really care about, what we're really measuring are the attenuation coefficients. And these reflect or are reflected in each voxel via CT numbers or HU values. So a CT number, we'll just cover this while we're here, often just in terms of X and Y is 1000 multiplied by the coefficient, again, x, y, minus that of water divided by that of water. And so now this mu here is the linear attenuation coefficient. So it's essentially saying CT number of this pixel is whatever the linear attenuation coefficient of that pixel minus that of water divided that by the same of water multiplied by a thousand. So why is this important to radiotherapy? This is very important and something you absolutely need to know whether you're a medical physicist studying the B1 or about ready to answer in your part three exams. So CT finds these attenuation coefficients via the HUCT values, which provide electron density that is then used to calculate the dose distributions in your TPS programs, which note that MRIs can't do. Heterogeneity corrections are based off electrons per cm cubed. And so having this electron density is imperative. So no CT, no HU values, no electron densities, no accurate dose calculations. So what are some important considerations when scanning a Gamex Phantom? So hopefully you notice that a Gamex Phantom is something you run annually and it's you run on your CT and essentially you have, it's a circle and there's a bunch of different plugs within this circle and they all have different HUCT values and electron density. So one of them may be titanium, one of them is lung, one of them is cork, one is air, one is water, one is acrylic. And they're all things and materials that we know the specific electron density of. That way, when you scan it, you can say, okay, I know acrylic has this electron density. And now my scanner is saying, okay, I have this CT number for acrylic. So you know that that CT number is related to this electron density. So anyhow, you need to scan it annually. You want to use constant KVP settings because at high Z values, this makes a significant difference. Also, different plugs need to be in the same exact position because if you move it, then it's going to be exposed to a different energy and different scattering. So this can change the HU value. So when you scan it, those are the considerations you need to change or consider. The role for change in HU in regard to dose. This is something I always remembered in grad school. I'm not sure if you would ever actually get asked this, but it's always good to know. Better to know more than less, right? 
So a 10% change in HU means a 2% difference in dose. And I think that's good for any physicist to know too. If you are looking at a treatment plan and there's a difference in HU, or you're just in a situation where this may come to fruition, you can say, okay, that's 30% different than what it should be. Well, now your dose may be off up to 6%. Now, what detectors are used in CT? So these are cadmium tungstate, CD. W04. Uh, they're ceramic scintillators, essentially. I wouldn't dive too much into that, but in case you're asked, there you go. So now what is the difference between a CT number and a HU number? So the CT number related to attenuation coefficients for each voxel. HU is the CT number normalized to water. So that's what the difference between those are. If you have any questions about CT numbers, about CT, or the importance of CT in radiotherapy, please comment below. I'm happy to help you where I can. You can do this. Keep studying, working hard. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.